Welcome everybody. This is your Zodiac readings for August 15th to the 31st. We are going to start with Leo and happy birthday all you Leos. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so let's just start with Leo. Okay, <laughs> I hope everybody is having a um, wonderful month. And everything is going well. Seeing most of you online. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you are coming back, welcome to you too. Um, always happy to have you all here with me. Okay, so we're going to have a look at um, this, the rest of this month for you guys. Okay, so let's get going here. So we're going to look at how you're coming into the next two weeks. And we have the Nine of Swords, okay? And then we have um, work, home, love, and, um, you know, what you don't see and the outcome, okay? So I'm, I always have to move things around to get them figured out how they actually fit on here. So yeah, so do that. Okay, so getting going here. So um, you're coming into this couple of weeks with a lot of stress on you, okay? I feel like you're stressed, you're overwhelmed, you're not sleeping well or this will be happening over the next two weeks. So if you start to feel that insomnia coming on, or you know, you may want to increase your meditation or do some more journaling, figure out what's bothering you. Maybe you need to ground yourself or go connect with nature. Something like that might help you, okay? So let's see what's going on in the next couple of weeks. And maybe this will kind of help us figure out what is going on so that we can determine why you're not sleeping. Okay. So um, work I see is going very, very good. We've got the sun there. So the sun is a great card. You know, everything is going well. You know, you don't have too many complaints here at all. Um, I feel like, you know, you're being heard, you're being listened to, you're being appreciated. Things are going pretty good. If you're not working, then I feel like home is good, you know, as far as feeling fulfilled, you know. Um, and I just think that maybe for some of you, maybe you volunteer, and that is going well as well, okay? So that's all good. So moving on to home. So home with Queen of Cups, everything feels good. You know, your emotions are balanced. They're steady. You have a lot of emotion. You are emotional, maybe because of your birthday, maybe because of something else coming up this month. But I do feel your emotions are strong this month. You know, take that and nurture you and nurture the people that you love around you. Show people at home how much you love them or your family or people close to your home. Okay. Then we have relationships. So generally speaking, this is like love relationships. It can be other ones, but I kind of designed this spread to include romantic relationships at this point. Okay. So we have the five of swords here. So I feel like there's something off with relationships. The if you're with somebody, I feel like the communication's really bad. It needs to be improved. It needs to be, things need to be talked about. They need to be, you feel almost like an outcast with somebody. You feel like no one's listening to you. You feel like they're not hearing you. So you really need to talk and ask for what you need from them, right? Um, communication is key. If you're not in a relationship, what are you not doing to put yourself in the position to be with somebody, you know, um, are you not putting yourself out there? Are you telling yourself you don't deserve it? What are the things you're saying to yourself to keep you from having a relationship? 
um, what you don't see this the for the balance of this month, I really see that there is someone there to help you. So there is someone very strong, someone very capable, someone that is on your side, like a father figure, but probably even stronger. And they're there to help you at every turn. So if you need a doctor, a lawyer, a specialist of some kind, if you need a counselor, or if you need just someone to talk to, they are there for you, okay? And they have your best interests at heart. So the outcome, what I'm getting so far uh, for the balance of the month is the Page of Wands, right? So Page of Wands is all about looking at opportunity and wanting to go for it, wanting to make something happen, willing to go outside yourself and really, really explore what you're passionate about and the things that interest you and excite you, right? So that's very exciting. So yeah, so I feel like you know, even though relationships are not the best right now, you're not just totally focused on that. You still have time to focus on yourself and start, you know, thinking about what you want coming on, right? So now we're going to clarify. And we're going to do this with um, the Everyday Witch Tarot. So... Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, Seven of Cups in the work spot. Home, we have the Nine of Swords and the Moon. Relationships, Ace of Cups and the Lovers. We're going to leave there and then we'll go on as we go. Okay, so um, what I see here with work I feel like you can let your guard down a little bit. You don't have to be so guarded. You don't have to be so worried about what other people think, okay? You are doing very, very well. I feel like sometimes you get a little overwhelmed. Really important to keep organized and keep your priorities straight, okay? For you to do that good job, you have to make sure that everything is kind of in order. If you're not, you will get overwhelmed, okay? So just make sure that you keep things in balance, keep things in order. And that is whatever you're doing, keep a daily calendar or keep a list going, something like that to help you, okay? I think it's really important for you. Um, What else do I see here? So around home, we had the Queen of Cups, so the, your emotions were balanced, right? But something is keeping you up at night, and I do believe it's your relationship, okay? Or lack of relationship. So I do believe that the fears, the worries, the all the stress about that, all the self-doubt, all the critical thinking is all affecting you where it's affecting your sleep, okay? So you need to really have a good talk with yourself and you know, start looking for the positives in your life, the positives about yourself, and really work on that, okay? So how do you do some, maybe some shadow work is, is due, maybe something like that, okay? And I am going to do a video on shadow work this week. Um, also, what I see here, we have the moon energy. I love the moon energy, right? It's all about trusting your intuition and building that trust of your intuition, right? Paying attention to the mysteries around you and seeing what's kind of under the surface, all right? So really, really, you know, take your time and think about things and don't get distracted by you know, the could-haves and would-haves and should-haves, right? Let's focus on what is, and let's just move forward in a forward direction, okay? Your relationship, so there is the Ace of Cups, so it's all about falling in love, and we have the Lover's card. So whatever's going on, whatever this, you know, miscommunication is, can be rectified, okay? I don't think it's time to pull the, you know, um, uh, to to pull the string on the relationship and end it, I think it is very, very uh, savable, okay? So um, you need to talk, you need to 
express your love. You need to let them know you love them. You need to let them know that this is something that you want in your life and that you want to fix this. And how are you guys going to do it, okay? Really important. And if it's about, you know, you not having a relationship and the things you're saying to yourself, then it's time for you to express some self-love and really do some work on yourself to bring out that self-love, okay? So that you can have this wonderful relationship that you want, okay? So what you don't see, and I was saying that there's someone there to help you or whatever you need, whether it's a specialist or whatever, right? And then we have the devil and then we have the ten of swords. So whoever you're trusting, make sure that you check their credentials, okay? So if you're hiring someone to do some work on your house, check their credentials. If you're seeing a specialist, look them up, okay? Um, if you are needing a counselor, make sure that you are not staying with someone that you don't feel you can trust. Make sure that you're listening to your intuition and make sure that you are you know, allowing yourself to change your mind. You know, if you get to someone and you feel that this is not right, this doesn't feel good, or you ask somebody for, you know, some advice and whatever, um, and it doesn't feel right, don't listen to it. You have that option, okay? This is all about, you know, this is about being, you know, kind of, you know, deceived or, or, just given some, somebody tells you something that's too good to be true, you know, often you can't believe that, okay? So if it's, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So don't buy into anything, any bullshit, just because you need something, okay? So keep that in mind too. So keep your wits about you, okay? And then the outcome here, what the page of wands, we have the page of cups and temperance. So as you're seeking, right, and you're going to start seeking and looking for things that make you excited, happy, that you want to do, that you want to engage in. And as you're doing that, you know, be patient, okay? Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Don't get, you know, that lack of maybe, you know, that you don't know exactly what it is or what you want. You may have to discover a few different things to to pinpoint what you're looking for, right? Be patient with, with yourself and with others around you, right? So, yeah, so that I see is very important. And then leaving this, um, this uh, month, um, we have the Magician. So that's a much better card. So the Magician, you know, is, is um, you know, all about everything working out very, very well, having your wits about you, having things going well for you, knowing what you need, knowing what you want, all that kind of stuff, right? I just feel like it is um, extra special where you don't need to kind of focus on anybody else but you. You have good answers. Um, you know where to find the answers if you don't have them, okay? You know where to find the resources if you need them. You're very, very resourceful, and you just have to, you know, um, ask yourself, where would that information be? And I think you were, you will know right away where it is, okay? So, I am going to use these numerology cards uh, for you uh, this month, for the balance of this month. I'm going to pick a card and read it for you and see kind of what this card, um, what these guid guidance cards, they're called guidance cards, they're oracles, and see what um, what it's all about for you. So we get card 74, and it says nature. So let's see what that means. This card indicates a need to spend quality time in nature. Nature has the ability to heal and replenish you when you're feeling tired, anxious, or depressed. Even a 10-minute walk outside will help revitalize, balance, and ground you when you merge your energy with Mother Earth you enhance your connection to the divine. I did suggest that you 
go for a walk if you can't sleep or whatever, right? It does really, really help you. Perhaps you've been spending too much time inside or around computers and electronic devices. Maybe you're feeling stressed, indecisive, or confused. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to improve your mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being by walking along a beach or in a garden or park, hiking through a forest, bush, mountains, or desert, swimming in an ocean, river, lake, or stream, taking a trip to the wilderness or countryside, going camping or horseback riding, gardening, or having a picnic, laying in the sun, walking in the rain, or playing in the snow, or reading under a tree. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to spend time with the outdoors. When you align yourself with Mother Nature, you align yourself with Source, and this is a very powerful way to raise your vibration. So your affirmation is, I spend time in nature and align myself with source. I like that. Um, makes sense to me, right? So I think grounding is so important and spending time in nature is one of the best ways to do that. So as a little bonus, I am going to do a little bonus reading for you. And I'm just going to do a body, mind, spirit, okay? So we're going to use, uh, I'm just going to use these cards again. And we're going to do a body, mind, spirit. And this is just for your birthday, okay? So body, mind, spirit. So basically, um, you're looking for something, okay? With this birthday coming about you, this is a birthday reading. So with this birthday coming about you, it's a good time to take stock of where you've been and where you want to go. I think your destination is needs to be um, kind of decided. Where do you want to go? What do you want to change, right? I think it's imperative that you make some changes. Um it's you're looking for abundance you're looking for everything to be perfect it's not going to be right now okay for most of you you know you've got some big changes happening you know with the tower here you've got big changes some difficult changes coming you have to make some big decisions but I think this birthday is giving you an opportunity to do that to refocus and revisit your passions, your desires, and make some changes, right? Really, really nice. So with the Eight of Pentacles, um, with your mind, um, it's really saying to, you know, think clearly, try to refocus, try to try to um, use your your past as experience. But don't use your past as judgment, you know, because nothing is the same. You never do anything twice the same, you know. So you want to make sure that you are using your past as experience, but don't let it um, lead you down, right? Don't let it disappoint you. You are doing very, very well, and you will continue to do well, okay? So... Um, take a take a look at what you're good at, you know, maybe assess what your what your what your goals are, what you're very good at. You can start reaping rewards by getting into the right job, um, into the right home, into the right environment. OK, so don't be afraid to make some changes there if you need to. OK, but this is a good card for you. This is good things coming. OK, in the next year for you. And then I see that we have the stars. So, you know, mind, body, spirit, right? So really important that you embrace um, your uh, spiritual beliefs, whatever you are trying to learn, trying to manifest. You want to make sure that you are really um, going all out there, you know, learn what you can and 
um, exper uh, you know, experiment and figure out what you want and how you want to express your life this next coming year. Okay. And the outcome, we're just going to give you an outcome card here. We've got the seven of wands. So of course, there's going to be contemplation. There's going to be areas of doubt and areas of pushing forward. And then, you know, taking a couple steps back and pushing forward again. But leave doubt at the door, okay? So get rid of all this doubt. You can, you don't have to um, do it alone. You can join forces with others, okay? You just have to be willing to take those steps, okay? Take those steps forward. You don't have to let everybody hold you back, okay? So, yeah, so I feel like this next year for you is going to be awesome. Just a little kind of overview. I think the biggest thing that you need to focus on is just your goals and what you want. And I think if once you if you do that, you will have a lot of success. Okay, thank you. Um, bright blessings, my dear, and we will see you very very soon.